We have a raft of updates around what is coming to Copilot for Microsoft 365. I've already got the name wrong. Microsoft made the change to, it's now called Microsoft 365 Copilot. That was all part of that Wave 2 announcements. I'm not talking about any of those. This is everything else that Microsoft have announced since. So let's get stuck in. As ever, at the end of the month, Microsoft give us their updates. And as you can see here, we've already got these updates for uh, dated the September the 30th for 2024. Uh, so let's go through what some of these are and what's announced. And we'll also go into some other things around Excel um, and Copilot, some dedicated posts around that. We'll also do some stuff in OneDrive. I'm excited to buy the uh, OneNote update as well. And we've also got some SharePoint stuff at the very end. So as you will see in this document here, um, we have uh, some updates around the user engagement toolkit. So when the Wave 2 announcements came out, there were a bunch of other announcements and blog posts that Microsoft released. One of them is around the fact that they've updated this user engagement uh, and the enablement toolkit. Um, just to show you as an example, this is actually a screenshot of one of the uh, templates that you can take, put it into your email, uh, you can add your own company logo as you can see there, and then this is sending out training material to all your staff who have got a co-pilot for Microsoft 365. Again, I've got the name wrong. So as you can see, we can take this. This is a great kit. This is a great way of being able to keep in your, uh, your staff, your employees up to date around what is changing inside of the Microsoft 365 Copilot environment. We've also got more access now to the Copilot Academy. If you're not familiar with this, as part of your Microsoft 365 Copilot, you get a license uh, for some Viva Learning and the ability to, be able to use some of that platform. You're not going to be able to go and build more of it, but you can use the Copilot Academy and there are a bunch of training materials in there around how to use some of the products inside of Teams, around some prompting, some exciting elements that you should go off and start to use inside your environment and certainly part of your training mechanism for your staff. Within our biz chat, as part of those Wave 2 announcements, the what was previously named as Microsoft 365 chat has been renamed to business chat or biz chat for short. Um, you're going to be able to use the ability to create images. You could do this with your normal Microsoft Copilot using Designer and the Dali 3 image creations. You can now do this inside of your biz chat. Um, so a great way of being able to ask it to visualize something for you. Um, or actually, if you've pulled it from, as it talks in here, it talks about the fact that you've got the ability to be able to use it with some of your visual copilot agents. So ask it to create so an image based on that output, what it's got, just to see what it does. Maybe it's useful, useful if you're a bit more of a visual learner. Copilot has been added to the Outlook mobile app. This is now going to be the place for you to be able to go and use your biz chat in the mobile and also on Outlook for Mac. Um, just to show you this is a bit more of a, a bigger, deeper screenshot. Yes, you're going to have mail, your calendar across the bottom, but now you've got Copilot as well. So you can go in there and you can actually start to use Copilot all within one location. You now cannot use the Microsoft Copilot app from some announcements earlier on this week. So um, uh, if you're going to use business chat, you've now got to do it inside of Outlook, inside a Teams app, um, or the inside the Microsoft 365 app if you're doing it from a mobile point of view. What we also got as part of some Outlook updates is this schedule with Copilot. And I love how it actually describes this. And I'm going to read some of this out here for you. Email is a great tool for collaboration, but some conversations can run long for occasions when users need to escalate an email through to a live conversation. Copilot can help them set up a meeting by selecting the schedule with Copilot button in the ribbon. Copilot will create a meeting title, suggest an available meeting time, draft an agenda and summarize the conversation. That ability to be able to go off and suggest an available meeting time is one of the biggest requests I have seen from customers asking, I want my Outlook to be able to go off and find the meeting time for me to be able to do it. Can Copilot do that for me? So taking that meeting thread, looking at everybody that's on it, and then going off and trying to find the right time that fits people, it's a really good addition as part of your Microsoft 365 Copilot license. As I said, one of the ones that I was excited about was this ability to be able to do more stuff in OneNote. I'm going to read just the very top of this out. Both typed and handwritten notes can now be analyzed at the same time um, when you 
uh, same time we think within ink in copilot so copilot can now read your ink writing and then make a summary of that as well that is so powerful i love that feature i love this addition that it's bringing so i know that actually my notes now can be used i do a lot more handwriting rather than necessarily uh, the typed but so to be able to have it to go off and hopefully read my handwriting will give me the ability to be able to get a better analysis of the notes that i've made in there and just to show you here this is kind of some going off writing in there and copilot is reading and it's going off and looking at all that just information as part of it i can paste that summary into my notebook and take it on from there so really exciting features as part of our copilot in onenote jumping to excel i wanted to call out the excel blog the reason is is that we've seen copilot now in excel go into generally available and we have that ability to be able to go off and use it and uh, what the excel team have done is created a whole series of blog posts and you'll see there just on that left hand side it says see what's possible with copilot in excel part seven so they're up to a very big list of features and demonstrate demonstrating what you can do with copilot in excel the link is in the description below but please do go off and have a look at this you will find all sorts of great information around what you can do in copilot in excel now it's generally available as part of the announcement for wave two was around this ability to have copilot in onedrive it's now generally available so since that name uh, announcement um, on the 16th of September, you can see this blog post is dated the 27th. Uh, we now have the generally available and you can go off and you can use it inside of your OneDrive. I've seen this in multiple tenants. Um, and what we have the ability to be able to do is go, you know what? I don't want to go into this file and ask for it to do a summary. Can you just give me a summary, please? And that's kind of where it's gone off and it's done that automatically for you. So you can very quickly review what a file may well be. And the other main one here is the ability to be able to compare two separate files and say can you tell me the differences maybe you've had two quotes between what you sent to a customer you want to be able to analyze the difference between them and this is all quick way again to go off and say look at this file look at this file do a compare and then it goes off and does that for you the other thing that i just wanted to point out is that on the 10th of october um, there is also an, a set of announcements around onedrive Microsoft did this last year, a similar date, um, around a whole bunch of features and announcements that they were bringing to OneDrive that they have now delivered. Um, so it would be great and exciting to see what's changing with OneDrive. I'm sure Copilot will be uh, added to those as well, but something to be looking out for. So if you've gone past that date, go off and look for the recording. Otherwise, I'll see you at the same time where we're going to look at uh, this announcement to see what they have to say. Inside of the SharePoint Copilot, um, or every month there's a, a blog post all about SharePoint. There is a, a call out in there around some of the co SharePoint in Copilot. So here we see here is this ability to be able to actually edit the text and have rewrite it with Copilot or ask it to create that text for you. So this has gone directly into our Copilot uh, in the browser working for us inside of SharePoint. So another exciting one there for you. So as you can see, a whole raft of announcements around what is coming as part of your Microsoft 365 Copilot. I got it right this time. And you will see more and more things that are being added by Microsoft. That's why I do these blog posts, because even though we have all those Wave 2 announcements, there is still more and more coming as part of your Microsoft 365 Copilot. So until the next time I see you on the value add, I hope you found this useful. Please do give me a like and a subscribe and we'll keep you up to date with all the things that are going on with Microsoft 365 Copilot and the Copilot ecosystem. Until then, I'll see you next time.